Alright guys, welcome back to my video series. I want to uh, announce that I just hit 1,000 subscribers today. So this is a special episode for us today. Big shout out to Greg Bowers for being our number 1,000 subscriber. Thank and you, Greg. In case you guys have just tuned in and you're new to the channel, what we're doing is, this is my 1972 Corvette that I had back when I was a freshman in college. And um, motor and transmission has been gone for years now. And so I got a C5 Z06 Corvette that was wrecked. And I am transplanting all of the guts into the 72 Corvette. So, so anyway, the first thing we do is we pull the body off of the frame of the 72. And then we chopped up the 2002 C5 Z06 with only 20,000 miles on it. And now we have it here. We're working on the frame. So stay tuned and let's get to work. That's in, so now I need to make some uh, uprights to connect this frame to the rear subframe. That's going to be tricky. Alright, so I am going to need a pattern to make this last section of frame rail. So I'm using this piece of uh, one by lumber that I have. It's like one by six, but I cut it down to four inches. One by fours don't work because it'd be three and a half inches. Uh, I'm going to try to stick this up in there and get a measurement. Uh, wrote down a couple of things here. This is a 60 degree cut, which is where that frame rail should be right now. It needs to be tweaked a little bit, so I'm thinking about going with like a 57.5 and seeing how that fits up in there. So, uh, first thing I need to do is go ahead and give us another little quick cut, and then we'll try it in. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. It's kind of hard to get the light back up in there. Uh, let's see how this piece looks. Definitely too long right now. All right, so uh, I need to cut about six inches off of this piece. Which will put me about there. I'm gonna match this angle. And I need to leave a little bit extra down here as well because it looks like it's gonna overlap that frame a little bit. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of a notch there. Close. All right, I'm gonna make another little cut like that. All right, there we go. That's my pattern. Let's check the other side real fast. You guys probably can't see it from over there. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good over here too. Nice. All right, it's good to know that the frame is square. All right, so I'm gonna take my pattern, do my three by four steel, and then we'll cut out a couple pieces. Alright, here comes the moment of truth. <laughs> well, the moment of truth is that my uh, crossbar is in the way. <laughs> so I'm going to have to chop that out, unfortunately. Oh, no. 
But if it wasn't for that, it looked really good. So I'm wanting to try to tack that uh, support a little further over and then chop off some of the excess material there. That's going to be hard to show on camera. Well, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I just need to chop off a couple of, maybe about an inch and a half. Well, I'm going to get that uh, upright in place. Get the welder in position. All right, guys, well, I got this upright here fitted, and it's looking pretty good. Um, I think I can slide this frame forward another half inch to uh, make this fit a little bit better up here on the top and to keep this as tight as possible. I don't know if I'm going to be using this face here or not, um, but I want to try to keep the frame as tight to the body as I can. So. Give me about another 30 minutes to reposition this frame because every time I touch this frame, I have to make sure it's square all around. And that takes just a while going back and forth, back and forth with the tape measure. So I'll be right back. can see here but this frame did go exactly half inch forward so we are going to tack it in it is time so I'm going to step inside so walk this way All right, guys, I got this thing tacked into place. That was a little harder to reach than I thought it would be. It looks like you've got plenty of room down in here, but when push comes to shove, not so much room. Ooh, I think we need to do a little more here on top. I don't quite like that yet. So I'll reinforce that one there. But uh, now I just need to uh, cut out another piece of metal and weld it into the other side. Lather, rinse, repeat.
<laughs> Alright, so we're going to try a different video uh, shot for this one. This is the second upright from the uh, cross member here. The first one's already tacked in, so here it goes. up soon enough. So what I'm going to do is I got just a little bit of an overhang off this upper frame rail. I'm going to box this thing in. So I'm going to go ahead and um, weld this up, cut off the excess, throw on a boxing plate on the front to close that in. And um, I should call it a close out plate, not a box out plate. Close out plate. And we'll, we'll close this out. And I'll need to finish welding all of these other uh, pieces real quick. I need to do some stuff with this um, uh, drop over here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so I move this over just a hair. Okay. Yeah, this is the um, this is the drop for the uh, mount, the chassis mount. So I would like to extend this all the way over to this upright to give it a little more support. Uh, probably won't do the lower that way, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, it would be nice to be able to try to triangulate something across here. Maybe I'll just box this one out and use this 2x2 two two and maybe triangulate that down here. That'll give me a lot more uh, stiffness in the back so this thing won't be trying to twist the uh, frame right there. Uh, there's going to be a, quite a bit of a, a bending moment already on this piece here. So we need to address that, and we'll address that by adding more reinforcement across the floor here. I think I showed you guys a photo of what I had in mind before. Um, I still need to weld the shock mounts onto the frame, but I need to finish welding the suspension brackets first. But uh, yeah, it's coming along, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section, thumbs up, thumbs down. I can't believe people give me a thumbs down on these videos, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how to support this body a little bit better before I start crawling underneath this thing. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in a couple more weeks. Thanks for watching.